Hey, this is your boy Bismack, and you're welcome to Inside with Bismack. Today, let's talk about traveling. I know this year you want to travel, especially to the United States of America, which people think that is impossible. But I'm here to tell you that it's highly possible. And if it will be possible, then you need an information like this, which is free and relevant. Before I continue, subscribe to our channel, like our page, and share this page to as many people as possible. Stay here, don't go away, let's get started. A lot of people think that going to the United States or getting a United States visa is nearly impossible. But trust me, it is very possible, especially if you know the various visa categories and you know where to pick it from. I'm here to give you all the visa categories that probably you have never heard about. This information is free and it's well researched. But I just want you to know that I'm not an attorney. I don't work in the USCIS. I'm just an individual who is very enthusiastic about researching and giving my followers the best of information, especially traveling. The first visa category is the H-1B visa. That is when you pursue a job offer from a US-based employer. The H-1B visa allows US companies to hire foreign workers for jobs that require specialized knowledge and a bachelor's degree or higher. For example, if you are a software engineer and receive a job offer from a US tech company, you can apply for this kind of visa and you are likely to get it. The second visa category is the F1 student visa, especially when you enrolled in a US college or university you can apply for an F1 visa to study in the US. For instance, if you are admitted to the master's program in business administration, or maybe master's in nursing at a Harvard University or any of these universities in the US, you can obtain an F1 um, student visa and you can have a high chance of traveling to the United States to work and to live. And don't get me wrong, it's not only master's in business administration or master's in nursing. Any master's program that you are uh, enroll in in any of the u.s um, college or university there's likelihood that um, you can apply for the f1 student visa and you can get it so this means that for those who want to work or live in the united states and still want to pursue their master's program keep searching keep applying and there's high chance for you to um, land in one of the universities and you apply for the f1 student visa and yes, you have a high chance of getting it. The third visa category is the J-1 visa, especially if you participate in exchange programs. You are likely to also apply for the J-1 visa and it can land you into the United States to work and also to live in there. The J-1 visa is for individuals participating in exchange programs, including students, interns, teachers, and researchers. For example, if you are a medical student participating in a U.S. hospital internship, you can use this visa to live and work in the United States of America. There is hope for people who also um, love to engage in exchange programs. Another visa category is the employment-based visa or what we call the EB-1, EB-2, EB-3, EB-4. This is called the employment-based green cards especially they are available for individuals with job offers from the u.s employers in specific categories such as an extraordinary abilities advanced degrees or skilled worker and one of the things i know about eb3 visas are the nurses especially the degree holders and some of the diploma holders use um, eb3 visas to become green card holders to live in the united states with their spouse and their children and also work which ultimately leads to getting citizenship in the near future. So if you are a nurse, you can explore these employment-based visas. You can start searching it and you can also, if you need any assistance, you can put it in the comment section and I will know what you want to know about EB3 visas. And to the best of my knowledge, I can help you to get started and 
we've got permits in two years or in three years time you can land in the united states of america be a permanent resident and ultimately become a citizen in the near future another visa category is the investment visa that is the eb5 visa investing a substantial amount of money typically around 1.8 million dollars or 900 thousand dollars in targeted employment areas in a united states business can qualify you for an eb5 visa for example if you invest in a real estate development project in a rural area you might be eligible so if you are an investor who wants to take advantage and live and work in the united states then you can invest in these areas especially the uh, real estate in rural part of the united states you can be eligible to apply for an EB-5 visa and you, it can land you into the United States. Why are we saying United States? United States because it is a very great nation of opportunities. That is why people want to move to the United States because you can have your life changed. If you have a great attitude, if you, if you are willing to learn faster, then they are very willing to support you. Another visa category is a family-sponsored visa or family-based green card. U.S. citizens and permanent residents can sponsor their close relatives for green card. For instance, if you have a sibling who is a U.S. citizen, that sibling can sponsor you for a permanent resident. And as a permanent resident, that means that you, you have the opportunity to live in the United States, work in the United States, to ultimately becomes a citizen one day so as i said the sibling should be a united states citizen before um, he or she can apply their family sponsored visa or family based green card visa for you so if you have a family member in the united states who is a citizen maybe such a family member can help you out and if you have a family member who is not a citizen yet then you can support the fam that family member with prayers and whatever support that you can so that once he becomes a citizen then he can help you file for a family sponsored or a family based green card to also help you land in the united states to work and live and ultimately become a citizen one day another visa category is to marry a u.s citizen that is called the k1 fiance or fiancé visa the K-1 fiance or fiancé visa. This means that if you're engaged to a U.S. citizen, they can apply for the K-1 visa for you to enter the U.S. and marry them within 90 days. I repeat that again, within 90 days. After marriage, you can apply for a green card. For example, if you're engaged to someone living in New York or in Florida or California, they can petition for your K-1 visa and it can land you into the United States to live and work and ultimately become a u.s citizen one day that i'm sure is the dream of every u.s resident i know uh, we have heard a lot about this a lot of people have heard about um, being able to land in the united states when you marry a u.s citizen but how to go about it i know it's a kind of information that people don't really know just that people have heard about it but if you're on this channel, we are going to do all the research and bring it to you. That is why you need to subscribe to this channel, like our videos and share our videos to as many people as possible. Another category is the L1 visa, which is transfer within a multinational company. For example, Google, Twitter, Facebook. The L1 visa allows employees of multinational companies to transfer to the US. For example, if you work in a Google company that is in Accra or that is in um, Lagos or that is in Nairobi and there comes a time that you need to be transferred to another branch in the United States they can apply for this visa for you for you to live in the United States and work in the branch that is in the United States so this is another visa categories that can help people live and work in the United States and ultimately become a U.S. citizen one day, which I know is a dream of every U.S. resident. Another category is the O-1 visa, which is for people 
with exceptional ability and achievement. The O1 visa is for individuals with extraordinary ability or achievement in fields like science, art, education, business, or athletics. For example, if you are a world-renowned scientist, you can apply for O1 visa and you are likely to land in the United States and work and live there and ultimately one day becomes a US citizen. Another popular category that a lot of youth in Africa are pushing is the diversity visa lottery or the diversity visa program. Keep pushing. Now you know that it's not only the diversity visa program that you can participate in. I have given you a lot of them and I will still add a lot more. So keep pushing, keep applying whenever it's open, keep applying. I kept applying for visa lottery. I know I did not get, but I was able to get another category that landed me to the United States. So keep pushing for the diversity visa program and it can land you to the United States of America. So the diversity visa lottery program grants green cards to randomly selected applicants from countries with low rate of immigration in the US. Note that countries with low rate of immigration so countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya move to the United States a lot. So that's not to say that um, you cannot win the diversity visa program. Just that probably your chances of winning it is low or lower than countries that uh, move less or countries that do not move to United States in their numbers. So that is what diversity visa programs does. Are you a religious worker? Come closer. I have a category for you. Probably you've never heard about it, but I have research around it and I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a brief information about this visa category. And I know that if you are somebody who wants to live in, live and work in the United States, then probably you start um, researching around this visa and start applying. And it can land you to the United States of America to live and work. This visa is called the R1 visa. The R1 visa is for religious workers who wants to work in the United States, as I said earlier, temporarily. For example, if you are a minister or a member of a religious order, you can apply for this visa to work in the U.S. religious organization. It says temporarily. And you know, once you are there, you can get job to do. And if you show a great attitude, if you, sh if you show that you are willing to learn and willing to grow in your job, Probably you can get an, another job offer from your employers and you can switch your um, visa to a different type of visa that can allow you to stay permanently in the United States and become a permanent resident and ultimately become a U.S. citizen. That I know for sure is a dream of every U.S. resident. Now there is another category of visa that probably a lot of people don't know and that is called the asylum or refugee status asylum or refugee status and mean that if you are probably f um, fleeing persecution in your home country due to uh, race religion nationality membership in a particular social group or political opinion you can apply for the asylum or refugee status in the united states for example if you are facing persecution in country like um, Syria and other country, you can seek refugee status. Or maybe if you are being chased out of your home, facing persecution of belonging to a certain social group like the LGBTQ in some countries, then America is saying that you can apply for um, asylum or refugee status. And you can get a chance to live in the United States. I know we talk about people who work in the religious sectors, but there are also visa categories for the media people or journalists called the I visa. The I visa is for representatives of foreign media traveling to the US for work. For example, if you are a reporter for a British news agency covering US news, you can apply for the I visa and you have high chance of landing in the United States, becoming a permanent resident, and maybe become a citizen. I know most journalists know about this visa, but I'm very pretty sure that a lot of journalists also do not know about it. So if you're a journalist and you want to live and work in the United States, then you have to let your manager know that 
you can also cover news in the United States and that can be your chance <laughs> and finally another popular category is being in the military service I know a lot of people know that you can apply for the United States Army some people have virtually no idea that even if you're in a different country you can apply for the u.s military just that you need to know the right channel to go through non-citizens who serve in the u.s military may be eligible for expedited citizenship for example if uh, you enlist in the u.s army you can apply for an expedited naturalization and you can become a u.s citizen and know one of the fastest way to become a u.s citizen is being part of the army i know you're not going to the army because you want to become a u.s citizen because you want to serve them and in serving them they are also going to treat you better and i know this is a very good way of becoming a permanent resident and becoming a citizen in the united states very fast these informations are there but i know a lot of people don't know that is why i researched around this and brought you all the information that you need to know so from henceforth get a category that you think you can do well or category that you want to enter and start researching and applying follow the right channel and one thing i want to tell you is that surround yourself with friends who will push you apart from friends who will push you get an internal motivation distance yourself from people who think that it is not possible you can't do it that word is a devil for human progress surround yourself with circle of friends who can push you and also have an internal motivation have that fire whatever you want to go and whatever you want to do tell yourself you can do it everything is possible with the right information with the right channel you can do it and one day you can learn in your dream country especially the united states of america and you be, become a permanent resident in the united states of america and ultimately become a citizen and it will change your life change the life of your family members change the life of your spouse change the life of your children and you become successful so let me know the visa categories that you want me to go deeper into it and i will do all my research and bring it to you in the comment section just write the, the type of visa category that you want me to go into details and i will do all my research and i will bring it on this page so subscribe to this page like this video and share this video to as many as people that you can until then if you love this videos just write in the comment section i love this video or write in the comment section the visa categories that you want me to go into details and also if you think that i left any visa category you can put it in the comment section and other people will be glad to see it so this year or the following year or the the coming years tell yourself you're going to work hard tell yourself the country that you want to land in you're going to land in you're going to work hard you're going to search for the right information especially on this page and the right channel so as i said earlier on i am not an immigration specialist i am not an attorney i don't work in any of the u.s immigration department i am not part of the uscis i am an individual who is enthusiastic about researching and giving good and relevant information to my followers because i explored one of the categories and it landed me to the united states of america and it changed my life until then, I will see you.